Oh my gosh, it is so good to see you all again today. Coming to you directly from the space van, yep, here in the US of A. It's good to see you all again. Well, guess what we're gonna do? Today we're gonna tackle that little problem I had, that little rust problem we all talked about before. So today we're gonna to tackle that rust problem. Let me show you. First of all, you probably all are wanting to know what in the world do you have on the side of your van? So what I have on the side of my van is, is I have one of those emergency blankets. See the orange underneath there? And then you pick it up at Walmart or you can get them off of Amazon. And what that does is it blocks the sun from heating up on the inside of the van. And it reduces the amount of heat immensely. Just a little tip on how to stay cooler during the summer. And what I've got holding it on is those ceramic magnets. And these things, you aren't talking about strong even during the wind the other night didn't even budge this thing one little teeny bit yeah that emergency blanket on your van that is absolutely incredible it stops that heat from coming into your van i mean like right there i highly recommend you try that so yeah today we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tackle that little rust problem i got now keep in mind i am not a body professional but for all practical purposes i'm gonna play one here on youtube today so we are going to, hey little Jax, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Oh, you just want to say hi to everybody. You crazy old critter. You get him. Get him. Yeah, so anyway, we're going to go ahead. We're going to tackle that rust and let me show you what I'm talking about. So all that rust that I have down there, I'm going to try tackling it and see if I can't get that all taken care of. Uh, especially back here in the back. Where it has all the appearances of being the worst. So today, that is going to be what my task is going to be. And here's the biggest surprise. We're going to use nothing but rattle can spray paint for this job. Obviously, I'm going to sand all that rust down. And what I'm going to use is this clean metal primer, this gloss protective enamel paint, and then a gloss clear coat over top of all of it. Then before and during, I'll use this to clean the areas to remove any grease or wax so the paint will adhere better to the van. And now I have sanding paper and a grinder and a wire wheel. Bondo, if I need it. Which I sure hope I don't. So yeah, so that's what we're going to start tackling today. So let's get going. Now, I'll be honest, this is just an experiment to see how well this process will work. I'm not really expecting any miracles, but I certainly have my fingers crossed. Okay, first things first, I have to remove my spaceship's outer protective layer. <laughs> yeah, I've changed my shirt. I am definitely not going to do this job in a white shirt. And it is way too hot out here right now for that. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start washing down the bottom of the van so I can get that all cleaned off first. All right, I really wish I would've took this to a car wash. Cause I gotta tell you what, trying to scrub all this stuff off of here. I mean, I'm gonna get a workout before I'm even halfway done. So I'm gonna get this side dry down and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start rust removal. Oh, it's those little buggers right there I don't like. Oh, man. You'd be nice now. You stay back. Oh, this time of year, they're all over the place. Oh, I don't like those at all because they are playing out right mean. All right, let's get some sanding done. All right, so what I'm going to use is, hold on now. I'm going to use a wire brush on my drill, and we're going to see if we can remove some of this rust. Got my trusty stool. Yeah. I forgot something really important. Don't forget these little guys right here. Cause uh, yeah, it's throwing stuff everywhere. All right, back at it. All right, so we got the beast out now. So let's get her done. Wow, this project is gonna take me a whole lot longer than what I thought it was gonna take. But you know, that really brings up a really good point. You know, it's really important to take care of your vehicle. I mean, this is your house. If you're out here living in a van, you know, this is your home that you live in and you definitely want to take care of it. But I know for sure one thing, this has been a lot of work and I'm only up to here so far. It's going to take me a while. All right, well, here's a quick update where we're at so far. We've got some Bondo on there. I didn't realize that rust had actually eaten through a couple pinholes in there. And then in the back, I said the part that I was real concerned about was right there. Well, that did, that went all the way through there. So I repaired that. I've got to sand that all down yet, but this side is just about done, except for doing some of the sanding down in there. This part's just about ready to prime up. Thank God. I 
gotta tell you what, my hat's off to all you guys and gals out there who do auto body for a living. It's not so easy. You know, I did this once upon a time back when I was younger. And I told myself I would never ever do it again. I wish I would have listened to my younger self. All right, anyway, so I will put it back on here when I get ready to do the priming on here. Now, so far, I've applied two coats of primer to the van, and I think it's looking pretty good so far. So we've got all the rust gone, everything's been primed up, it's all ready to roll, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to use one of these, and we're going to kind of scuff up the primer, and then we'll be ready to put on our first coat of paint. Oh, I'm so excited. Alright, here we go. Now it's time to start on the other side of the van. So let's go ahead and let's get this side all finished up. Alright, there it is. We got it all taped up and we're about ready to start shooting some of the paint on there. I've got a lot of the prep work already done on here, but now it's time to start the rest of the paint job and put an end to this project. Because man, I'll tell you, this has been one very difficult project to do. You know, it seems like I have found muscles that I haven't used for quite some time. <laughs> all right, let's get this all finished up. Now, for all you paint and body people out there, oh, I can just hear you cringing already, saying that that is not the proper way to do a paint job. And, well, you'd be right. But I want you to remember, I am just one person doing it on my own with a very limited resources. And this worked for me. And I needed to do something to get rid of that rust. Wow, check that out. I got the final coat of paint on there before I put a clear coat on top of it. It's not looking too bad at all. Oh man, I'm so excited for this. It's going to look so good when I get done. I'm going to put a clear coat over top of this to seal it all in and hopefully that will look really, really good. But right now, currently, it is looking freaking amazing. Look at that down there. This has definitely been a learning experience. I am so happy not to see that rust there anymore because that was looking pretty ugly. All right, I gotta wait for this to dry and then I'm gonna put the clear coat on top. Well, a few days have gone by and it's time for the big unveiling. I can't wait to show you how this project turned out. Oh, it's amazing. Alright, it's time to get this bad boy cleaned up. Believe it or not, this is an exciting day for me. I am so excited to show you how this van turned out. It turned out, in my opinion, pretty incredible. 250. That's not so bad. Alright, let's get this baby cleaned up. Ooh, got that all done. Now I'm gonna take you all out to a place to show you how this project turned out. I figured it'd be a little better than seeing it sit on concrete. So follow along with me, we're on our way there now. Let's go. Alright, let's get out of here and I'm going to show you the moment you've been waiting for. You're finally going to get to see the van all finished up. Alright, I just want to stop the video here. For any of you guys and gals out there that are big Chevy fans, you might want to close your eyes now because this is going to hurt just a little bit. <laughs> but of course, you know I'm just kidding. Let's continue.
somebody's backing in and do a boat. That's what I need to get. I need to get one of those kayaks so I can go out there and enjoy the water. I think that'd be a blast. Well, I hope you've enjoyed seeing the restoration of my van. I finally got rid of all that rust. I am so happy about that. Say, if you happen to be new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down here in the corner. Hey, and also don't forget to hit that little bell, that little notification bell. That'll let you know each and every time I release a video and I would greatly appreciate your support. YouTube's kind of been a little bit, uh, I don't know, fussy lately and they've been taking away our subscribers and doing a whole bunch of things so please share this video hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video i would greatly appreciate that all right till i see you all again you all have a wonderful day see you later